Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General reading. This is for the element of air. So if you're Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, someone who rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of November um, 20, 25th through the 26th through the 28th, 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Uh, also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, um, be sure to check the description box or just email me for a price list. I do have a holiday special running right now, so make sure you take advantage of it. Um, and then also, if you uh, make sure to register at Bill Per Call if you want to reach me by phone. Um, if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame, but make sure you request the call. All right, so overall energy, we have the Page of Wands. I'm sorry, Swords. <laughs> we have the King of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups, the Tower, the Queen of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm... Um, getting stuff about telepathy and reading each other's minds um people speaking to each other um looking at each other without saying anything just giving each other a look and then just kind of like knowing what that is i feel like there is someone around you where you guys are just connected maybe it's a literal twin maybe it's your best friend maybe it's a love interest um, but it just looks like two people are like, we don't even got, got to say nothing. You already know. Um, I get to that two people can be kind of, they can clash at times, but I'm also getting like a soft connection I'm getting too bold or too strong energies. Um, you might find yourself kind of speaking before giving somebody a chance to finish. It's like you guys are matching each other's energy. It could be Five of Swords energy or it could be harmonious. I was immediately more so getting like, reading each other's minds. Um, I feel like something could happen where you are like, this is some sort of love at first sight. So you might experience some sort of love at first sight, some sort of instant attraction or instant bond. Um, I feel like something very unexpected is happening to you that you weren't expecting. It just happens out of the blue. Um, you also may be forced to do something that makes you uncomfortable, especially when it deals with emotions. Maybe two people are very guarded when it comes to their feelings and emotions, so they kind of put their defenses up. Um, I also feel like two people are going to connect because of they're going to bond on something very unexpected or some event brings two people together. Mm. I also feel like something is being exposed. Someone's vulner vulnerabilities are being exposed or the truth is going to come out or someone outs you. Not necessarily about sexuality, but just like truth. Get, someone just kind of like puts, puts it out there and it's like, thanks for telling them like I didn't I wasn't ready but okay thank you so somebody might put something out there before you're ready but I feel like it was supposed to happen um definitely looks like outside forces are intervening your situation whatever it is um you may end up having some sort of wake-up call I feel like if someone is, I feel like someone's coming into your life and they are the catalyst for new beginnings or the catalyst for some sort of change. 
I can't yet tell if it's something good or bad. There's a lot of things too that you're going to have to put into perspective. Um, someone is going to leave a lasting impression on you. Like it's electrifying and it has you questioning everything. Everything you thought you knew. You're questioning it now. You're like, I don't know. I feel like your weekend is also about a lot of reading or information overload. This card always gives me uh, Colombian vibes. So I don't know if Colombia is of some significance to you. Even I would even say like I'm thinking about the country. Um, but something could be talking about uh, the record company. Hmm. I feel too like something is going to leave you speechless. Like you're like, what can I say to that? Like, I don't even know what to say to that. There's something that you may end up needing to reorganize. The things that you once prioritized, like you're changing the order. You also may cross paths with um, strong, influential people. You could, if it's not romantic, you could uh, connect with a business partner and you guys just hit it off. Um, like everything you guys are talking about, like it's like you guys are reading each other's minds or completing each other's sentences. And then there is several people involved. So you could be dealing with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Something's happening where um, a foundation is being established. Some sort of foundation. A foundation of trust, business foundation, relationship foundation. I just feel like some sort of foundation is being established. I feel like you've also been waiting for something to happen, waiting patiently, and then everything just starts to align or fall in place. I do feel like you're going to have some sort of confirmation about something that you were thinking about. Hmm. Something has been, something has basically been like in a cocoon state. Um, there's been some sort of hidden transformation going on that you weren't aware of either within yourself or just your situation in general. Something has been growing and thriving, but you just didn't know it. Mm. I'm getting that energy of being trapped or baited again. Something is like a booby trap. Like I, I'm looking at how he's upside down and there's this circle or something being drawn. Someone walks into it and they get flipped upside down or get caught. 
I just feel like you're walking into a situation that will bring enlightenment. Yeah, it's like you're walking right into something. I'm also getting the energy of someone who likes to play with fire or who likes danger or is turned on by danger. I'm getting um, through the fire, but I'm thinking about both Kanye and Shaka Khan. You may get an unexpected call or you hear from somebody, someone also might blow your phone up. I feel like you're also going to be very surprised at um, who has been thinking about you. Someone Someone maybe wants to have a family with you or wants to start like a business with you. Oh shoot, I did it again. Hmm. Okay, it looks like Something has been in development, something you've been working on and it's been it's been for it's been ongoing. Something's been a long time in the making. And then I feel like all of a sudden you have to start over something that you've been working on, especially like if you were writing something, maybe you were like 60 pages in and then all of a sudden you're like this story doesn't work anymore I gotta start over hmm I think too somebody in a love situation somebody has been uh, planning being very analytical about how they wanted to approach you and the rug is going to get pulled from underneath them. It's not going to go anything the way they planned. And then also I'm getting like a sense of urgency. Hmm. You may have hurt someone and didn't realize it like you were unaware that you did something hurtful to someone. That also may be coming in with the mind reading thing. Like Somebody's like, you should have read my mind. I'm getting something about some sort of unexpected news. If you made plans with somebody, I feel like one of you is being taken away from those plans. Something's happening where the universe is like, not this weekend, it's not happening. You might 
might unexpectedly fall for a fire sign or someone that is younger than you or where there's a significant age gap. Maybe, maybe they're older, but it, I'm just getting age gap. And I feel like this was not expected. Huh. I also feel like someone was unavailable at first or someone was in some sort of relationship, but the relationship ended and you came to mind but they've been waiting for the right time to approach you or say something. Also, I'm getting career-wise or dealing with your finances. You may have had something secure and then just lost it and you didn't know what was going to happen next. And you were like, now what? And then like out of, out of nowhere, some sort of new opportunity comes and... I feel like it's even better. Okay, I feel like someone is also sad to see you go. Or someone is announcing that they missed you. Oh my goodness. has been happening in the dark I feel like somebody's been planning on leaving or letting go man I feel like your dreams are going to reveal that somebody has been watching you or thinking about you. Or if you dreamed about somebody a few days ago, um, this per whoever you dreamed about is going to reach out to you. Even if it's not that person, I feel like they're going to have uh, some similarities. Like if you like if the person was um, a Scorpio. And I feel like all of a sudden a Scorpio might reach out to you. Yeah. Somebody's just been quietly observing. I also feel like someone's been going through some sort of changes or losses and have been keeping to themselves. Yeah. Okay, sorry, that was my pop can just randomly <laughs> making sounds. Okay, I guess that's to confirm. All right, so let's look at some additional messages. What additional messages are there for my air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? We have adjacent possibilities, deceit, broken heart, oh my goodness, oh my god, hostilities. <clears throat> okay, so, <laughs> interesting. Um, you may find out that someone has been, um, tr has been trying to spite you or to seek some sort of revenge or deceive you uh, I do feel too like your enemies are going to be exposed or something is going to be revealed to you in regards to some sort of deception 
Someone may have done something intentionally to hurt you or break your heart. Mm. It's also possible that someone reaches out to you talking about how you hurt them. Interesting. I feel like your guards are up. Like you aren't really trusting what you're witnessing or something that's going on around you. Now, spiritually, it could be some sort of weird um, paranormal activity around your house. And you're like, who is that? What is that? I just saw that. Like maybe you're having to set boundaries with some unsettled energy around your house. Um, but whatever it, whatever is going on, I feel like you are being guarded. Like you don't trust somebody. Huh. You may feel that someone is out to get you. Or maybe someone feels that way about you. I'm hearing Helter Skelter. I need to look that up because I don't know who that character was or what they represented. But I'm getting like Helter Skelter. Um, boy, I feel like something is blown or someone's cover is blown. Ah, I'm just getting someone's cover is blown. I feel like this last part of the message is really tripped out. You might find out that someone's been using you for money. Huh. Or someone's been paying to ruin you. Someone's been paying like going to, you know, some sort of root worker to do stuff to you or your life. I just feel like someone's cover is blown. The truth is coming out about something. Someone may have lied on you and it gets exposed. I feel like career-wise, somebody's trying to ruin your career It could backfire. In love, someone's vulnerabilities are exposed. They have been putting up some sort of guard and acting distant or like they didn't care, they forgot about you. And then all of a sudden they're in your inbox. Someone is still hurt or someone is still healing. I do feel like things are going to turn out better than how they start off, though. Mm. Mm. Someone may be trying to express the pain that they in or the, the pain that you put them through, but they're ready. Or even if it's not from, you know, a past person. Like somebody is talking about how much heartbreak they've gone through or the people that have deceived them along the way, the phony people, they'd be like, you wouldn't believe how many phony people are around that I know. Like somebody is telling you like, not a sob story, but they're just like explaining why they don't trust nobody. You might see the numbers um, 44 and 11. Yeah, so those are all the messages that I'm picking up for you guys, but hopefully something resonates. Uh, feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Cindy Love and Grace.